All right, so as you can see, I have created a landscape right here uh, with hills and trees and grass and so on. And also a gorilla that is walking through the landscape right here. So you will also notice that I haven't drawn anything right here. And that is because we are going to create water right here. And we want to create a mirror effect of the landscape. So how are we going to do that? Um, first, uh, what we need to do is we need to make a group layer right here and we name it landscape. Um, then we need to put all these layers um, inside of the group layer. So we select the first one under the group layer, the sun layer, and then we go to the last one um, and then I hold in shift so that they are all selected. And then I'm dragging them into the landscape group layer, like this. <clears throat> um, then um, what we do, we take the transform layer tool. Um, no, wait. First, we duplicate the layer, like by clicking right here on this button, duplicate layer. So we can just name it landscape two. Um, put it below the first layer. And then with the transform layer tool, um, we can click on this button right here. And what happens is um, if I make uh, the group layer, uh, the first one invisible, you see it has flipped upside down. Um, and when you have done that, it is very important uh, the, that um, when you move the group layer um, to hold in shift when you move it. So I hold in shift and I move it with my mouse down below. And by holding in shift, it moves into a straight line. And, and of course, that is very important if you want to create the right, uh, if you want to create a mirror. So if I zoom in a little bit to get it into a straight line, because of course the distance is also important for a mirror. There we go. Yeah. So now we have already created something, uh, the mir a mirror effect, but now we have to add the water uh, to it. So what we do, we make a new layer and we call it water. Um, then I pick a color um, right here. I choose blue. Um, I'm going to make it a little bit darker, like this. Um, deselect soft edge. I don't know why it was on soft edge, but um, yeah, keep it like that. Then I take the draw shape tool. Um, I don't need an auto stroke right here. And choose rectangle right here. Um, then I zoom in right here on this line. So I put my point right here, zoom out, and I just draw a rectangle right here, which will be the water. There we go. Uh, then we take the select shape tool and we select this. Um, yeah, I should have done this before, but um, we make it transparent. And then you can see the result of it already. <clears throat> it becomes transparent. And so it looks like water uh, with a mirror effect in it. And you can choose how, how, how dark or how light you want it. Um, I think this, kind of like this is okay. So I click okay. Um, now, right now, it won't be visible. Uh, it's still, uh, it's not transparent when you uh, are on the menu. But if I show a preview of it, you can see the effect. Um, so I'm going to export the animation to show you eventually how it looks like and then I will we'll be back. Okay, so I've just exported the animation and if I click on it and I play it, it looks like this. If you like this video, please subscribe for more. I make new tutorials every week on Wednesday. I also make my own animations. I will upload them whenever they are ready so you can watch those as well. Thanks for watching guys.